You know, there's always a favorite vegetable that every gardener has, and in many cases it's tomatoes. And almost everybody loves growing tomatoes. They have competitions with their neighbors or in their neighborhood and to see who can grow the biggest or the earliest or you know get their tomatoes to ripen the fastest. And so there's some tricks that we can teach you to uh, have a lot of success with your tomatoes where maybe in the past you've had problems with them and we want them to produce early and ripen early and give you the harvest that you want. So by doing a few little tricks, we can really get those tomatoes to produce a lot faster. <clears throat> when we've got a tomato plant like this, this is a sweet baby girl. This is one of our favorite cherry tomatoes. They don't get too big. They get about probably about that big and uh, just super sweet. They cluster up like crazy. And once they get producing, they produce like mad. So what I'll usually do is if I'm going to do them in a container like this, and we can do the same thing when we're planting out in the garden. I just, it's easier for me to plant in a container today. So we're going to dig our hole, and this is a really nice, light, loose potting soil. You can see how light and fluffy that soil is. There's no bark. There's no, there's no junk in here. This is, this is a fertile potting mix. It's their ultimate potting mix. And it's just peat moss, perlite, vermiculite, and a little bit of humate to really get things growing. And uh, just a really light, fluffy, nice potting soil. So I'm going to dig my hole. We're going to put our tomato in there. One thing that we like to treat the root system with is an inoculant that has uh, mycorrhiza in it. And that's what this is, this mic right here. The mycos is uh, an inoculant that has mycorrhiza in it. The mycorrhiza will attach the root system of its host plant. This is going to be the host plant. So it's going to attach the root system. It's going to colonize that root system with a microscopic root hair. It's going to go out in search of water and nutrient. It's going to bring that water and nutrient right to its host plant. The host plant's going to digest all that water and nutrient for itself and give a little bit back to the mycorrhiza, the fungus, but it's a good fungus instead of a bad fungus. It's going to feed that fungus and it's going to go out in search of more water and more nutrient, bring it right to its host. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat the root system. I'm going to cut the top off of this so we can get to the mycorrhiza. So what I'll do is I will take my plant out of the, the pot that it's in. Usually you want to just squeeze the bottom of the pot just gently and then it will slide out. And you can see the root system all over in there. So it's got little small root hairs that are really starting to take off already. Take your mycorrhiza and hold the plant over the hole. And usually I'll just sprinkle it all over the root ball. Just get a little bit all over. We'll put a little bit down the bottom of the hole. You want that mycorrhiza, that fungus to come right in contact with the root system. You see that's kind of spread out all over that root ball. We want it to come right in contact with that root system as we're planting. So we're going to plant that tomato right there. And I'll backfill it. And press it down just like that. So we've now introduced the fungus, the mycorrhiza, to its new host. In the next couple weeks, as it starts to grow, as the root system starts to grow, you're going to watch that root system double and triple in size because of the mycorrhiza. Once they really get going on that root system, they'll make it just take off like crazy. In a short amount of time, that root system will basically fill the entire pot with roots. And uh, it's, it's kind of cool to look at at the end of the season because you can see how the root system has just taken off like crazy. After we get it planted like that, we need to give it a little bit of fertilizer because a potting soil like this doesn't have much fertilizer in it. So we'll start off with uh, a little bit of root stimulator from Fertilome. Mild, mild fertilizer just enough to get things going with your tomato plant and uh, a rooting hormone to help it start rooting out and get established so it won't go through, through transplant shock nearly as much. So we'll mix this up in a watering can just like this and water the tomato with it. The first two or three waterings to help it get established in its new location, give it just that mild fertilizer and help get things going. After the tomato gets established, then there's a lot of different fertilizers we can use. We can use a slow release fertilizer in here, but one of my all time favorites is a brand new product from Natural Guard. This is an all natural plant food. It's, uh, it's got a little bit more mycorrhiza in it. It's got tons of beneficial microbes. It has calcium in there to really help tomato plants. It's got a good balanced fertilizer and it's an all natural blend of fertilizer. So for a tomato plant like this, we'd use probably a, a, a couple tablespoons for a small tomato plant, work it into the soil. So we take a little bit, you know, sprinkle it around in there, work it into the soil. It feeds them for about two months. So maybe two applications throughout the summer, possibly a third if you get them started really early for the tomato and vegetable food and it does just a, a great job. The other thing that we can do is really help the plants uh, 
blossom end rot's a big problem. And if you haven't seen blossom end rot on the tomatoes, there's a good picture of it. Uh, right there, you'll get this black or brown spot on the bottom of the tomato. And uh, a product like the Yield Booster will actually help the plant so it will set fruit faster and it will actually ripen up a lot quicker than it would otherwise but it has a high dose of water soluble calcium in it which will help with blossom end rot so basically we'd mix this up in a sprayer spray it on the plant and it will really get things going and also help prevent the blossom end rot so there's a lot of different products that we can use to get our plants to get established faster. The longer that they take to get established, the more they go through transplant shock, the less likely they are to start setting fruit. And to help those plants set fruit, once they really start setting blossoms, we can use the tomato and pepper set from Fertilum. It's a natural hormone that you can spray on the plant. It's a hormone that just tells the plant it's time to start producing fruit. And it will uh, it'll help those blossoms start setting fruit. And uh, it'll actually help the plant produce a lot more blossoms as well too so it'll really get your tomatoes going so between the blossom uh, set the yield booster a little bit of root stimulator a little bit of fertilizer and the mycorrhiza we can really turn this plant into a monster this summer that's just producing tomatoes and uh, ripening up really quickly and giving you the, the bountiful harvest that you're looking for